So, Lone Rider here, and I want to talk about sword and buckler. And in particular, uh, I want to talk about my homemade buckler here. Now, this has been coming along. Uh, I have a temporary handle on the back. It's a um, just a metal piece of metal bar stock with two holes drilled in it. You'll see it doesn't sit entirely flush because although I domed out the, I dished out the boss a little more, it's still not really huge, which I'm okay with. Uh, I don't want to dish it out too much, and I, I don't know how, how that's going to weaken things. So I could just have a handle that bows out a little bit. Um, if you look at a lot of reproductions, not all of the handles are flush. Some of them do stick out a little. Uh, I think a flush handle would be a little maybe easier to, you know, manipulate in terms of getting the, um, getting the angle and stuff. But, um, you know, one of the wooden ones I made had a flush handle, and I really liked how that felt. But, uh, you know, on the other hand, this is my first experience with metalworking with steel in this sense. I mean, I did make this, you know, out of mild steel. This is just solo practice sword. You can't spar with it because it's not tempered or anything. It does have a bit of flex, but um, my, my real sword is too long to use inside. So, um, you know, yes, in the garage, but, but this is just a little convenient thing to have. Um, and just a little cooler than a wooden sword. You know, I mean, it makes a makes a nice ding when it hits something um but um yeah i've never really tried you know working metal with a hammer like this so i don't want to mess it up too bad um you know the handle's temporary it's held on there by screws that go in there and they're just cut off uh what i'm ultimately going to do is uh either rivet it on or have bolts that go through uh 